McCarthy. Thank you, uh, Madam Deputy President. Uh, every question was about parliamentarians, and I, I'd like to just pick up on that. And there's a reason why uh, there are questions, and these are legitimate questions, Madam Deputy President, that go to the heart of the capability or incapability of this government to govern in a way for the people of Australia that is filled with integrity, that goes to the heart of the issues that impact the people of Australia. But the very fact that the former deputy leader of the Liberal Party has stood up today and raised very serious questions about the minister in question, Peter Dutton, and his ability to be in the cabinet, his ability to represent the people of Dixon, his eligibility to continue to be paid as a member of the House of Representatives. That is a very, very serious question that is not only being asked by the former deputy leader of the Liberal Party, but also by the former Prime Minister of this country, who only two weeks ago was leading this nation. But all of a sudden it's Let's not have a look at this. Oh, that's old news. But it's not old news, Madam Deputy President. It is very critical news. There is a vacuum, there is a doubt as to the credibility of a minister in the Morrison government to be in this parliament. And it is our job as the opposition, as other members in the Senate, to critically question and analyse all of that. But as Senator Farrell has said, we didn't raise this today because we just wanted to. We raised it because it was your side, a member of your government, who has raised it, and a member of your former government, or a former member of your government, the Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull, as he was then, is raising it. So therefore we have to look at this. When even the Solicitor General's advice shows there is risk. There is risk in Peter Dutton's eligibility. And we should be pursuing the fact that this has to go to the High Court. His eligibility to stand in the Parliament is under question, it is under a cloud, and every single decision that he makes and even every single decision that he has already made is under a serious cloud. We have seen senators and members go before the High Court over the last 18 months, people who have, yes, many of whom, after lots of deliberation, chose to go to the High Court for clarity. It is the right thing to do for Peter Dutton to stand up now and to say, I will go to the High Court to have this clarified. It is the right thing to do to remove that doubt. It is the right thing to do to send a clear message to all Australians that we do take this seriously in this parliament, that those decisions that are made in Cabinet are being made by people who are eligible to be there. That is what is in question. Instead, we see shifting, blame game, nothing to see here. And the Australian people are sick of it. They're fed up with it. You have unfinished business in that cabinet. Peter Dutton needs to refer himself to the High Court. There is no other question here other than whether he is eligible to be sitting there as the member for Dixon in the Cabinet making decisions on behalf of the Morrison government to represent the people of Australia. There is way too much doubt. When you have constitutional legal experts also raising that, the doubt is very clear. So it's not about the opposition playing games here. We are doing what we have to do, and that is to keep you accountable 
to make sure you are doing the right thing for the people of Australia. Thank you, Senator McCarthy. 